wow, what an MLB wild card series across the entire league. Um, we had some of those series. Uh, you can call them series, I guess. Um, you know, they all only ended up being two games. Um, I guess that's a series. They're mini series, at least. Um, we had some that ended, you know, the way most people expected. Um, we had a couple that did not. Um, I want to start with the National League. Um, you know, let's let's start with the Phillies Marlins series. I think that's the one everyone expected Philadelphia to win. Uh they, you know, took care of business. They won it two games to zero. Their pitching was on the entire series. I think the Marlins were just kind of happy to be there. Um they had a nice run this season, the Marlins did, but let's be for real. They were never gonna beat Philly. Philly's gonna play Atlanta. Atlanta wanted Philly, Philly wanted Atlanta, and it just, you know, it worked out perfectly. Um, that's going to be a hell of a series uh, in the DS. Um, I still have Atlanta winning it and getting revenge for last year. I mean, I feel like Atlanta is clearly the best team in the playoffs. And uh, they're going to be hard to beat. But anybody, um, anybody's going to have a tough time beating them. And that being said, the Phillies do have a shot against them. I mean, they got them last year. And if anyone was going to do it, it was pro it's probably going to be the Phillies. But I don't really expect Atlanta to lose. Um <laughs> At least not in the National League. Um, they're just hell bent this year. It seems like. Oh, excuse me. But um, I feel like you know the Braves. They're gonna you know get some revenge for last year. Take care of business, and uh, I think they'll beat the Phillies. Let's see. I think they'll beat them in four. I'm gonna say it. I think they're they will beat them in four. Um, next we have, you know, that Brewers Diamondbacks mini series. Um. I picked the Diamondbacks, but I thought the Brewers would at least win a game, and they couldn't even do that. So, I feel bad for Christian Yelich, man. I mean, he's too good of a player um, to get wasted on a team that chokes as much as the Brewers. I'm not going to flame the Brewers as much as I could, just because all other fans have heard it before. Um, it must be miserable being a Brewers fan, and I, I do, you know, feel bad for the fan base, honestly. Um, that being said, the Diamondbacks moved on. They played really well. Um the, you know, two really fun games for Diamondbacks fans. I mean, coming back and winning them both. Um, that being said, the Diamondbacks and Dodgers, I think the Dodgers are going to be too much for them to handle. If the Diamondbacks can upset the Dodgers like the Padres did last year, the Diamondbacks will have a real chance. Um, if they draw maybe the Phillies, but I don't think they'd have a chance against the Braves. And the, I don't really think they have much of a chance against the Dodgers. Um, the Dodgers pitching rotation is ailing. But I just don't know if the Diamondbacks are ready yet. Uh, it would take, you know, guys like Corbin Carroll stepping up huge. Oh, I'm sorry. I got the yawns today. I like. I feel like every time I get to talking, I start yawning for, like, no reason. Um, I'm not tired at all. And then, like, once I sit down in front of the camera, it's like yawn, yawn, yawn. But uh, forgive me for that. Um, I think the Diamondbacks will steal a game from the Dodgers. I'll go 3-1 to one in that series as well. I know that seems kind of lazy, picking 3-1 to one for both of them. But we just had four two-game sweeps across the board. So I'm going to go 3-1, three, 3-1 one, three, one in the National League. Um, the Twins beat the Blue Jays. I predicted that would happen. Um, the Blue Jays seemed like they backed into the playoffs, and they did. Um, they got run over by the Twins, it seemed like. Um, couldn't get anything going. The Twins pitching just mowed them down. Um, so, I, you know, the Twins, they look really good. They have a good starting pitching rotation, um, really solid bullpen. Uh, Duran, since Bautista's not pitching, I'm going to say currently he is the best relief pitcher in baseball. Um, the Astros starting pitching took a nosedive in September. The team that they're matching up against next, um, their bullpen is kind of what's keeping them afloat. And their lineup bails them out a lot. So, I mean, am I really going to do this? I'm really going to do this. I'm picking the Twins over the Astros. And I know that sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. And it is crazy. Because the Astros clearly have more experience. They've been to the ALCS six seasons in a row. They're trying to make it a seventh. Um, it's hard not to pick them in this. But pitching trumps good hitting in the playoffs. And I feel like, you know, the Astros pitching hasn't been there in this past month um, leading up into this. It seems like, you know, they're on a downtrend. And the Twins have really stepped up. I mean, their pitching has been there for sure. And, you know, they just had a little taste of 
like playoff momentum. Um, I don't know. I feel like the Twins win that in five. Uh, I know that sounds crazy. And I, I know that the Astros would have home field in that fifth game. I just got, I have to go with the Twins in that series. Um, it should be an interesting series. Look, I would not be shocked at all if the Astros won. Um, this is my upset pick for the entire round. Uh, I think the Twins have what it takes. Now, I could be completely wrong. The Astros could sweep them like they did to the Mariners last year. Um, would that completely shock me? A sweep might. But I, it wouldn't shock me if the Astros won that series. But I don't know. Just thinking about it, I feel like the Twins pitching in their bullpen. And the Twins hit a lot of home runs as well. Um, don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on guys like Royce Lewis. Um, I, maybe Carlos Correa has a big series against this former team. I don't know. I feel like the Twins are going to the ALCS. And they would be a scary matchup for the Orioles, who I'm going to take over the Rangers. Yes, the Rangers did just upset the Rays. Um, look, the Rays, they were crumbling. Um, they had such a hard season. Uh, they fought through a lot of adversity in this season. Uh, no, we're not going to even say his name, but the disgraced, awful human being shortstop. Um, so many injuries in that pitching rotation. And they still won 99 games, but it all caught up to him and compounded in two games. Um, the Orioles, yeah, their closers hurt, but I feel like the Orioles still have a rockin' bullpen. Um, it's, that's really kind of bolstered and tightened up here in the last month. Um, I feel like the Orioles starting rotation is better than anyone gives them credit for. Uh, I love Kyle Bradish. I love Gray Rod. I love John Means. Um, even Kyle Gibson, uh, Dean Kramer, whoever they use as the fourth guy in the playoffs, they're going to give you a good start if it comes down to it. Um, I think the Orioles in their lineup is very clutch. Um, it's a new hero every night. Um, it could be Ryan O'Hearn. Uh, it could be the, you know, the obvious candidates in Gunner and Adley. Um, Anthony Santander, Austin Hayes, Cedric Mullins. I mean, you name them. The Orioles got them. I mean, Adam Frazier could win them a game in the playoffs. I feel like, you know, they're the team of destiny in the American League. They're going to be almost impossible to stop. Um, maybe I'm biased. I know I'm biased. But I feel like the Orioles are going to be the hardest team to beat in the American League. Um... They've got so much behind them right now. They love each other as a team. They're a tight-knit unit. I mean, they're tighter than any other team I see in the sport. And I feel like, you know, that's going to help them. That's going to help them big time in these playoffs. And, you know, you can scream about experience. That's the one knock you got on the Orioles. They're going to come in there and play it just like it was a regular season. And, um, you know, I feel like that's going to help them. I feel like they're going to beat the Rangers. Um, give me the Orioles. Give me the Orioles in four. So I got Twins in five, Orioles in four, Dodgers in four, Braves in four. So I think the ALCS is going to be the Orioles and Twins. And I think the NLCS is going to be the Braves and Dodgers. And I already told you before the playoffs even started, I think the Orioles and Braves are going to be playing each other in the World Series. Um, I know the Braves would be the heavy favorite. Uh, I'm getting way ahead of myself here because I should just be focusing on Texas, but I feel like the Orioles have what it takes to be able to beat anybody. I said it. Um, that being said, they just got to focus on Texas. Um, one o'clock start time on Saturday, four o'clock on Sunday, and they have off Monday, and then they play at eight o'clock on Tuesday at Globe Life in Texas. Um, I'm expecting Bradish. I watched the Locked On Orioles podcast today. Made a very valid point for Means to start the second game of the series because of more of a fly ball pitcher. They have more of a hitter's park. Use the left field wall to our advantage against their powerful lineup with Means. And then pitch, you know, Grayson, game three in his home state. A um, lot more swing and miss stuff. More of a ground ball pitcher in a home run ballpark. So I feel like, you know, that makes sense for the first three starts. Um... He said, like, Locked On Orioles podcast made a lot of valid points today, but I did disagree with the whole Kyle Gibson getting that fourth spot in the rotation. I know he's the vet, and I know he used to pitch for the Rangers and is kind of, like, familiar with that ballpark, but I don't think you can take that away from Dean Kramer, the way he's pitched this season. Um, he's been absolutely fantastic for the Orioles. Now, I wouldn't be upset either way they go because 
The other one we'll be seeing him work out of the bullpen. But I feel like you got to give that spot to Dean. Um, I'm expecting Dane Dunning on the Rangers to pitch game one for them. Um, they'll probably swing it to Montgomery game two and then Evaldi game three. So I I don't know. Um, it's it's going to be... It's going to be something. Um, they're going to be a tough team to play. But ultimately, I do say Orioles in four. Um, either Montgomery or Evaldi will get the Orioles once. But both of them won't get the Orioles. Um, that's my prediction. Um, look, I'm nervous. they got a good lineup. Um, anything can happen in the postseason. So, obviously, I'm just making predictions. But anything can happen. Um but I hope the Orioles lock in, come in and fight. And if they do that and they come and play like they've been playing all season, they can beat anybody. That's my honest pick. Um, this Texas series is going to be fun. It's the first time these two teams have ever played each other in the playoffs. So it's a new matchup. Um, it should be, you know, very fun to see Camden Yards rocking game one, see the birdbath going off, and uh, seeing all that orange and black, see, seeing the fans go wild. Um they should put Tampa Bay's crowd to shame. So, um, I, I think that's like, you know, a given. I think the Orioles have more people show up for like a sim game in practice than the Rays did for an actual playoff game. So, if you remember the last time the Orioles had a home playoff game when they were playing like Detroit and everything, when the Delman Young double, um, that place almost split in half down the middle. So, I feel like um, it's going to be a lot of the same energy this year for the 101 win birds. Um, I can't wait. I really can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself tomorrow. Two days in a row with no baseball. And all we have tonight is maybe the worst Thursday night football matchup of all time. Um, I do want to talk about that briefly. Uh, it's the Bears and Commanders. Um, Jesus, what a, what a snore fest. I don't even know if I'm going to actually watch it. Um, I'll probably catch some of it because uh, I'm, you know, mentally ill when it comes to watching sports. But, um, I like, look, I'm, I've been making picks all year. Um... I, I gotta go with Washington in that game. If they don't win, they should literally uh, quit playing football. Um, the Bears are so bad. And, you know, Washington's had their moments this season where they've looked decent. They gave the Eagles a pretty good game last week. Games in D.C. or Landover or whatever. Um, you, gotta, you gotta go with, you know, the commies in this game. Um, I think they're wearing their blackout uniforms tonight, which to me are some of the ugliest uniforms in football. The way that they did theirs, uh, I hate them. But it is what it is. It's just going to be an eyesore all around. Apparently, eyesore uniform wise, eyesore on the pl in the you know field of play. Um, I just you know I expect it to be a gross, disgusting game, and you know. Just beg the NFL to put better games on primetime, but they never do. And, you know, that's you know we're stuck with Chicago-Washington on Thursday night. Um, thankfully, there's a good game this Sunday night, but, you know, that's on Sunday. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm glad the Orioles are playing at 4 o'clock on Sunday now. I expected them to be playing at 1 o'clock on Sunday at the same time the Ravens played the Steelers. But now we got Ravens-Steelers, the Orioles playoff game versus the Rangers, and then Sunday Night Football, we have Dallas and San Francisco. So, I mean, it ought to be a hell of a lot of fun. Um, Sunday Sunday's going to be a really good day of sports, especially if everything pans out right for Baltimore fans. Um, if the Ravens get a huge win over the Steelers and then the Orioles win game two of their playoff series, hopefully go up two games to zero against the Rangers. Um, it, it, we got the makings of a really fun weekend as Baltimore fans, and uh, I can't wait. Um, that's all I really got for today. Tomorrow I'll be giving you the rest of my NFL picks for the week. Um, I just put mine in here for Thursday night. Like I said, I'm going with Washington. Um, I'll do the rest of my picks tomorrow. Uh, tell you who I think is going to win and lose. I went 14 and two last week, so if you're making any bets or anything, um, I'm the guy you want to listen to. Okay, uh, you know, just kidding. Uh, don't blame me when you go and lose hundreds or thousands of dollars. But um, if you win, it's you know, thank me. If you lose, it's not my fault. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you all tomorrow. We'll talk about some football in these, you know, off days of in-between series for baseball. Um, peace out. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and like I said, I'll see you tomorrow.